That vulture of a tavern master was right. It is Constantine's voice. It's coming from the floor above. Sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. It's not possible just now. show up sooner or later to liberate the rooster. He's making a great deal of noise. We could knock him out or gag him.
Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to crush! Constantine, it's me! My fair cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fires. I do what I can. We are departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today, we set sail for adventure. Madam? Constantine d'Orsay, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, Your Highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. No, my house is in order. We are ready to embark. Perfect. Follow me. I am so eager to discover Tier Freddy. My isle. My new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures, as big as buildings. That's right. I heard of them at the Norts, even brought one back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norts are strange, but they're not idiots. The beast is awoken! Those conniving, pistol-stilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need ropes! We must contain it! Help! Come then. Let's send them a hand.
Greenblood, how do you fare? Fine, fine. It is dead. Are you wounded? I'm well. Your lessons have proven effective. I've never seen a beast this size. It's quite extraordinary. Cousin, what a fight. You were illustrious. I'm not of the same mind. I have the feeling it was already weakened. I did nothing more than finish it off. Your humility remains a constant. But believe me, that battle was absolutely epic. Madam, gentlemen. <laughs> Your cousin's enthusiasm is most impressive. This journey is his long-awaited chance to prove his worth. He has a demanding father. More likely, he's just happy to be free of this hornet's nest. I definitely know I am. That's certain. Stations, lads! Wearing cut and ready hunt to wear! Lively now, lively! Catch me a win! Charming welcoming courtesy. Gentlemen, I am Constantine of House Orsay, your new governor. I have no idea what sort of ceremony you've prepared for my arrival, but I would gladly skip it, so... <laughs> indeed, indeed, these are rather peculiar customs. I, I see, I see, it seems you were quite intent on serving me a drink. Hello? Cat got your tongue? Gentlemen, would it be those annoying beaks? <laughs> I am truly sorry these doctors should have shown a greater measure of courtesy. Thank you, dear doctors. Move along, don't trouble the noughts. Pay no attention to them. Instead, just drink. The long voyages at sea require the appropriate treatment as soon as we land. According to our scientists, without fortifiers, you might catch your death, and that would be quite regrettable. I should have chosen death. This concoction is liquid torture. I would think that they would have warned you on the ship. No, not in the slightest. And you must be Lady Morange, my predecessor. You are correct. There you are! To your health! Aha! You got your dose of bile too. Allow me to present to you Lady Morange, and to you, my dear lady, my most trusted cousin. Where is the captain? He seems to be preoccupied with some sort of admiral. 
Indeed. Then I will have to thank him later for this most marvelous voyage. Excellency, lead me to the palace, I beg you. And, whenever possible, go by way of all the intriguing alleyways. I am dying with impatience to discover this new city. My city! Uh, Your Excellence, we must wait for our escort. No need. Have no fear, for I am here to defend you, my lady. I've been scullied. How so? My Admiral laid me off. My cousin was nonetheless delighted with your services. I hope that there was no misunderstanding. None, I'm sure of it. She just ordered me to give you any assistance you might need. This request doesn't seem to please you. Don't take offense, but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. In any case, here I am at your service for a while. Greenblood, do you need something? I must leave you. Desarde, can I do anything for you? You seem to be mad at me for some reason. Do you still resent the fact that I called your ship a boat? <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with that. Nobility makes me uncomfortable. I'm sorry if I was rude. I can't blame you. Most nobles are tiresome. I hope that I've managed to change this poor first impression of me. You have? I was wrong about you. You are different. I should have realized that sooner. I hope you can forgive my manners. It was foolish of me. Did you want anything else? How did you become a Nort? As you may have guessed, I am sea-given. I was given to the Norts when I was a little child, for a reason I ignore. I think I was originally from the Congregation, but I have no memory of my family. I took my first steps on the deck of a ship. That's all I can remember. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. <laughs>